Hey folks, this is Iman from AllAboutEnergy.com and today I'm going to bring you a quick overview of CyanogenMod Mod 10.1 which is based off the latest Google release, Android Jelly Bean 4.2. So first of all, this is a nightly build so there, there are a lot of hiccups all around but it's always nice to try the latest and greatest before everyone else. So right here, this is just the main lock screen. Uh, I've booted up and uh, first thing you'll notice is that we have a different clock widget which is interesting but at the same time you can add additional widgets on the side. So right now I'm just swiping across and uh, we have this plus button right there. I can just hit the plus. And there are not too many widgets available right now, but you can just choose one. And I'm just gonna choose this one here, for example. And we'll just add a widget on the lock screen. So you could take a look at something. Um, just say you want to look at weather without having to unlock your screen. You could just do that right there and you have a weather widget right on your lock screen. Now, as you can see, it says 92% over here and just a bar over there. That's because the full keyboard dock hasn't been completely mapped out. There are not, no battery readings. Uh, the soft keys are not fully mapped. So I could increase the volume, for example, but I can't really mute. So again, a couple of issues there and the trackpad also is disabled. The mouse doesn't work as of yet. Again, this is a nightly build, so patience is definitely a virtue. So now let me log in under users, which is a cool new feature. And you'll see that the background will change. And also right there, you can see you can place a custom text. So you can say this is Bob's uh, Android tablet. And then on the other one, this is John's Android tablet. And once I unlock the screen here, you'll take a look that this is my own customizable um, tablet. So I have the home screens, I have the app drawer, my own apps, everything is customized to that user. Now you'll also notice that they've changed the layout. Um, first of all, we are not having the app drawer button on the top and the on-screen on, on keys that are normally on the left have been shifted to the center as, long as, the, uh, as well as the app drawer button. So that Google tried to, um, they tried to, let me just load back the default trebuchet here. Um, they tried to centralize the, the the phone phone area and the tablet area so that you have all everything that you use is identical so you don't get confused that's their claim um, it took me a while to get used to having this phone layout around but uh, after a while you do get you, you do have the habit to um, use the app drawer button so quick thing uh, also is the notifications so we have the beautiful extended notifications and now we also have these quick setting tiles which are pretty nice to use we can just tap on one of them and uh, move on so we can hit airplane mode hit Bluetooth it opens it up um, okay it turns out this tile is broken and we hit settings it will open up uh, settings so again uh, many hiccups all around there's some issues here issues there and uh, you'll also notice no developer options in the settings to enable developer options simply go into the about tablet Scroll all the way to the build number and continuously tap on the build number until it gives you a message. Turns out it's not getting enabled, so let's try the Cyanogen mod version. And it just shows you that it's based on the latest Jelly Bean. Uh, under the main account, though, However, so if you want to switch users, let's go back to my default account right there. And let's just switch the wallpaper and unlock here. If I go to my settings, and again, it looks it looks like the old layout because um, I, I'm still adapting to the new layout. So now if I go to the settings here, all the way down, you see developer options that's enabled when you tap on the main account. Uh, right there so when you tap on it it will say oh you need five clicks four clicks to become a developer no need you are already a developer so you have developer options now let's go take a look at the Google Apps we've already made a video that covers all of the Google Apps so you get the uh, new Gmail you get the um, new gallery app the new camera app let's take a look here if the camera even works on this tablet and uh, yep it actually does work we don't have flash but uh, it does focus pretty nicely and you would hold on the screen and you can always uh, change the settings within the screen no need to actually open up a separate settings and right there uh, here's some focusing there's a picture 
Um, if you just take a picture normally without focusing, it does tend to crash. So please just autofocus first. Um, you also have the panorama mode, but no photosphere because it hasn't been implemented yet. Now let's just take a look at uh, 4.2 on the Samsung Galaxy S3. So this is also with Cyanogen mod and um, one uh, simply I've enabled Nova Launcher for uh, gesture swiping. So I can just swipe down and it will bring me my, my default notifications with two fingers. It will bring me my quick settings and right there I can just hit my settings there and edit few things. Uh, same thing about developer options. As you can see, it's not available here. Once I go about phone, scroll all the way down, hit the bill number, go back, and there you have it. Developer options has been enabled. So that's just a small perk that, that's been included. Uh, they're trying to hide the, the fact that you can edit those settings. But anyways, this is Android 4.2 running on the Galaxy S3. As you can see, it's really smooth. Taking a look at battery life as well. Um, it is pretty, pretty impressive so far. Uh, I'm running at 21 hours and this is constantly on constantly syncing that's why I have 40% right there you can see that all my my syncing is is taking a lot of my CPU power it is constantly being uh, used um, and also it comes with the 4.2 app so this is the camera app and uh, simply tapping to focus uh, and you take the picture which works fine however when you just if you move move it around you'll see there's some lag but if you move it around and you just take a picture normally it does tend to crash so taking a look here and there we go it crashed so right now uh, in order to use the camera please do autofocus first so right now it has crashed and if I kill the app so it will not respond so let's kill the camera open the camera again and you can't connect to the camera you just need to reboot the device and it will work so that's roughly it for uh, Jollybean 4.2 Cyanogen mod 10.1 uh, you get these tile settings which is not fully mapped out properly same thing with the keyboard as I show as I mentioned before uh, hitting the settings button right here it's not doing anything while volume does work muting doesn't work so there are a couple of issues for the keyboard mapping no battery life on the keyboard you can't really tell um, on the phone, it is pretty stable. It's been on a nightly for a little longer than the tablet. But um, overall, if you want to try the latest features, uh, go ahead and flash this. You will need to do a full wipe, of course, if you're coming from a uh, Cyanogen Mod 10.0. Uh, do a full wipe, install this with the appropriate 4.2.1 gaps, uh, Google Apps, and then you should be fine to try out the latest and greatest from Google and from uh, Cyanogen Mod. Thanks for watching. This was Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com. I hope you liked the video. Please do comment and subscribe. It helps us out. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.